Hello, I'm Cornelia. I'm an applications engineer on the products Aviso and Amira, and I will be the host of today's tutorial on surface creation. This tutorial has been recorded in Aviso, but all the presented features are available in Amira, so it can be fully replicated by Amira users as well. Aviso allows users to create geometric models derived from various types of data. Surfaces from point sets, surfaces from 3D images, tetrahedral grids from surfaces, centerline spatial graphs from 3D images. In this tutorial, we will focus on surface reconstruction from 3D images. This means that by following this step-by-step -step tutorial, you will learn how to generate a triangular surface grid, or as it is often called, a 3D model, for an object embedded in a voxel dataset. The surface grid, or 3D model, allows you to produce a 3D view of the object's surface and can be used for numerical simulations or 3D printing. The generation process consists of two steps. Firstly, extracting surfaces from segmentation results. Secondly, simplifying the surface. As a prerequisite for these steps, you need a label image, which holds the result of a previous image segmentation. Thus, let us load the provided motor.labels.am dataset from the data tutorials directory. Now, let us use Aviso to construct a triangular surface of the segmented object. In order to do this, first, connect a generate surface module to the motor.labels.im data. You can choose to apply some smoothing in order to attenuate the staircase effect visible when you have low resolution data. Nevertheless, you should pay attention when using this smoothing, as it may lead to the loss of thin structures in the data. Whenever you have such structures, you should use constraint smoothing. Then, press the Apply button. The border option ensures that the created surface is closed. A new data object, motor.labels.surf, is generated and is represented by a green icon in the project view. Usually, the number of triangles created by the Generate Surface module is far too large for subsequent operations. Thus, the number of triangles must be reduced in a surface simplification step. In Aviso, a surface simplification editor is provided for this purpose. Surface simplification is done by means of an edge collapsing algorithm. Edges of the original surface are successively reduced to points. The shape of the original surface is preserved by minimizing a certain error criterion. Special care is taken to prevent the triangles of the simplified surface from intersecting each other. To access the simplification editor, first select the surface motor.labels.surf by clicking on the green module. Since the simplifier is directly modifying the surface data, you may want to duplicate your initial surface before proceeding so you can start again if you do not reach the expected result. You can do this by right-clicking and selecting the option Duplicate, or by using the Ctrl D shortcut. Now click on the Simplification Editor icon in the Properties area. You can set the desired number of triangles in the first text field of the Simplify port. You can simplify the surface in several steps. However, a single step simplification yields more accurate results. A better method is to use the second text field, max dist to define a maximum edge length for the triangles of the simplified surface. The simplification process stops when one of the two criteria, number of faces or maximum distance, is reached. The third field, min dist, defines a minimum edge length for contracting edges. This is not a stop criterion, but if this value is different from zero, the button contract edges is enabled. Let us use 0 0.02 for the maximum distance and 0 0.01 for the minimum one. You can estimate this size by looking, for instance, at the bounding box minimum and maximum value of the data. Giving a too small number of faces or a too large maximum distance may result in an oversimplified surface with self-intersecting faces. Several optional features are also available. If the toggle Preserve Slice Structure is set, edges of exterior triangles of the surface get a special treatment so that the slice structure of the original voxel grid is preserved. Setting the toggle Fast implies the selection of a less extensive intersection test strategy, resulting in a faster simplification, but most likely into more triangle intersections as well.
When activating the Create Level of Detail option, all intermediate steps of the simplification process are stored so that they can be quickly restored. Last but not least, setting the intersection test strategies triggers the display of a new port called Intersections, in which the different intersection test strategies can be tuned. Testing for these intersections that may occur can be necessary, particularly if you are simplifying a multi-material surface or a complex surface. Let us now push the Simplify Now button in the Action port. The progress bar tells you how much of the simplification task has already been accomplished. The number of triangles is reduced from over 1.2 million to 50,000. This brings us to the final topic of this tutorial, visualizing meshes. To examine the simplified surface, attach a surface view module to the motor that labels that surf data object. You can choose various display options, among which the most interesting are Outline, which allows you to see the actual triangles, and Transparent, which enables the visualization of the part with transparency. This is particularly useful when you wish to visualize internal structures of the part. Moreover, the Surface View module maintains an internal buffer and displays all triangles stored in this buffer. By default, the buffer shows all triangles forming the boundary to the exterior. If you change the selection at the Materials port, the newly selected triangles are highlighted. That is, they are displayed using a red wireframe representation. The Add and Remove buttons cause the highlighted triangles to be added to or removed from the buffer respectively. In this manner, you can visualize just some of the materials in the mesh. Another way to easily visualize a subset of all triangles is by using a 3D selection box or by drawing contours in the 3D viewer. Nevertheless, do not forget that this is only a visualization. The initial mesh is not altered. Should you want to obtain a mesh containing only the displayed parts, you can use the module Extract Surface that can be attached on the surface view. Let us now visualize the result with the new surface view module. This concludes our tutorial on mesh creation, simplification, and visualization. Thank you for having watched it and please join us again for other tutorials on how to use Aviso.